Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. High above the city streets of Sketchyville lies the perfect lair, er, penthouse, for a gathering of the minds. Not exactly what I picture when I think of the Oval Office, but it's a perfect setting to talk about our executive center. This sketch will cover the structure and function of the cerebrum, the largest and most specialized part of the brain, including an overview of its four main lobes, frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital. And here's the executor himself. Mr. Mayor represents the cerebrum, and like the mayor, the cerebrum is the big man on campus. The cerebrum is the convoluted outermost layer of the brain and the part that you generally picture when you think brain. Its two hemispheres make up the bulk of the brain's mass and control higher level functioning. The outer layer of the cerebrum mainly consists of grayish neuronal cell bodies. That's the gray matter. All of their axons, which appear white due to myelination, lie inside. To help you remember gray matter outside and white matter inside, our mayor is wearing a gray suit over his starched white shirt. This arrangement puts all the axons in one central place to streamline communication. Pro tip, this is the opposite organization of the spinal cord. Oh, and that colossal pin holding the two sides of his suit together? It represents the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is the largest of several commissures, or bundles of axons, that connect the two cerebral hemispheres across the midline. This mayor may call himself the head honcho, but he's actually a stand-in for a team of four nefarious colleagues, each of whom brings their own special skills to the table. Like this guy, who certainly thinks he's the brains of the operation. He's not exactly wrong. This brainiac represents the frontal lobe, Located directly behind the forehead, the frontal lobe is the primary center for higher reasoning and problem solving, which is why he's got intense concentration written all over his furrowed brow. It's not just higher thinking, though. The frontal lobe is also responsible for voluntary motor control, hence the motor cycle leathers this guy is rocking. Now, what scheming team would be complete without a pirate? This pirate symbolizes the parietal lobe, and his tap-tap-tapping fingers are a reminder that the parietal lobe is associated with somatosensation, or touch. Also, see how carefully he's monitoring the room? Although it's not a perfect association, this keenly aware pirate should help you remember that the parietal lobe is associated with proprioception, or body awareness in space. No backstabbers sneaking up on this guy. Whoa. The blindingly shiny O-patch on the back of this lad's head isn't just an unfortunate bit of baldness. It's also a memory cue for the occipital lobe, which lies at the back of the cerebrum. With those binoculars, this dude is the eyes of the operation, a reminder that the occipital lobe is associated with visual processing. He's one advisor who brings some serious insight to the group. Last but not least, we have a timekeeper, er, keepers. This guy is not only adamantly enforcing the meeting schedule across every possible time zone, his multiple watches also symbolize the temporal lobe. The temporal lobe lies near the ears on the side of the cerebrum. It's associated with memory, learning, and the processing of sounds. Which explains why he's pointing at his temple while imploring, loudly, to the rest of his team to listen up and remember. And there you have it, the four lobes of the cerebrum. Let's sum up what we've covered. The cerebrum forms the main higher order thinking and processing center of the brain. It is organized with gray matter outside and white matter inside to facilitate complex communications. The two hemispheres of the cerebrum each contain four main lobes. The frontal lobe controls complex reasoning and voluntary motor functions. The parietal lobe, somatosensation and proprioception. The occipital lobe is all about visual processing, and the temporal lobe, auditory processing, learning, and memory. Well, this is one crackpot team for sure, but put them together and somehow they form a pretty perfect combination. Of course, the mayor takes all the credit.